everybody and welcome to another Tune Kind at 12 FPS. My name is Wiss. I am technically here. <laughs> I will be providing your lore for today. And uh, we have two wonderful players who I'm making jazz hands in. I uh, assume are these correct directions. Let's assume the US is over there and the UK is over there. Jazz hands. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing strange contortions to be out of the way of the jazz hands and jazz handsing back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why don't you go first, Be Wild? Introduce yourself. You're at the top. I'm at the top. I'm here. Hi, everyone. Once again, still riding the higher bullshit. It's me, Be Wild. <laughs> and I have, I have. Two main. I have two characters today. One is taking the forefront, and she's delighted to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I love Morpha so much. <laughs> we do love the skit. And, indeed, mm -hmm. indeed. And hello there. It is Winona, and I'm here with the scribbly wizard. Gra <laughs> scrambles. <laughs> scribbles. <laughs> scrambles. However. Scratch is not going to be in this thing because, hey, this is happening after the game that is currently... He I am currently in this time in real life and look at me. So, it's going to be afterwards, so Scratch is his own character. Yay! Yay. Uh, through, <gasps> through a battle and being knocked down, it's a whole thing. Go watch it. <laughs> Things happen. He gets happen. knocked down, but he gets up again. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So... Yes. So Scratch is with is a is with Aunt with his with Grandma Jewel right now while say Scribbles is doing this this adventure. Reconnaissance. Oh yes. dear oh dear. So we are opening our, our scene here, um, out in the ocean of the independent isles. And not so far in the distance is a very nice, lush, green island. One that uh, at least Scribbles has seen before. I'm not quite sure if Morph has physically been here before, but uh, the island of Jotos lies before you as you stand upon the deck of Tarp's ship. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, Morph has been here before. She set off fireworks here before. Oh, but she's yeah. not set foot. She's not set foot, I don't believe. Fair point, fair point. It but was no, just I, I, I do remember. <laughs> I got so Yeah. Good. I remember cop doing the fireworks but yes of course Morpha would have been there my bad mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah same <laughs> they had such fun that day Corp, <laughs> Corp is going to treasure the memories of being able to set off that much explosive for a long while <laughs> dear Splendid. But, uh, I will say I will say that uh, Scribbles has never met Morpha and no he He's gonna find it mildly weird for all of this. Like, how the heck did Lynn find another Pokemon? For one question. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for our audience. Looks a bit like a Charmander, but nope. nope. She's a. This is just a friend. She's excited for this. She has been given the rundown by her detective on what to do and what policies to have. And please don't break this wizard. <laughs> do not break yeah. this wizard. I know, I know it would be amusing for you. You're not allowed to mimic him and you're not allowed to do anything to him. Please. Nice. I will make you cake. <laughs> yes. Uh, bribe with food. It always works. Be well, and, I love that design, yeah. by the way. It's adorable. Yeah, <laughs> it's an adorable design. I agree. Yeah. It, Scribbles is surprised. To see a Pokemon, -y, but it's just like, ah, uh, I mean, she has connections everywhere. Of course, she would, she would find another Pokemon -y that dislikes dislikes Ark. <laughs> mm hmm. But yeah, you're there with Mira, and she's been um, she's introduced herself as you to Scribbles, and just I think without much further ado, you have been earlier given stuff from Lynn of just as much details as you can and then get out don't put mm. yourselves in danger indeed which is scribbles uh, is going to do mm -hmm. what get so, out of there think... or put himself in danger <laughs> we'll see we'll see by the end of this 
And so, Mira's been but, given Mira's been given a few things to make sure that if things push comes to shove, they get out of there alive. But yeah, yeah. stealth is an option, but option is italicized. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, you are approaching the island, and I will get you to start with a perception check. All right! All right. All right. I, oh god, I currently have two characters in question, which I will just say, Tarp this entire time has been keeping up a steady, a steady stream of words and conversation. He's a conversationalist. He will talk the ears oh, off. Oh, 30 Nice. Nice. Uh, what? Is your modifier for this morpher? It is a seven. That is nice. Okay, okay. Let's just get that in. Da -da. Yay! Did Yay! Twenty-three. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um. So, which direction are you approaching the island from? Are you kind of heading towards the docks or coming around the back of the island? What's What's your game plan? Probably coming around the back, similar to what we did before. Yeah, that's what I'd say as well on that front. It's right. good to be close to where, near where the ferryman was, and was close to places of interest, as far as I can recall. As yeah. We're interested in the Mutherhood and possibly that guy. Yeah. There are there are two targets. <laughs> if not, we're not going to do we're not going to do anything stupid today. Yeah. Today. Like yes. scribbles, like. Like, Scribbles has, like, just a little, right, like, said he wanted to go back to the actually Lavender Town to, like, learn some stuff from Jan. But first, but the first thing's first, he, they're going to try to get as much information as they can. Mm. Mm hmm. Yes. And this is me standing here going, where the hell did I save the map? Why is it not <laughs> freaking here? I think I did this the last time we were here, too. I was like, oh, yeah, that I'll yeah. just pull up the map. Yeah. Where the fuck is it? All right. Sigh. If you if Did you I? need, I can do filler. I I shall do filler words from tarp. Just let me just hey see there, ahoy. <laughs> let me just see whether. All right, how are we doing, the, folks? Uh, on the on the yeah, monkey. scribbles is monkey. like if you say that he is like talking a lot of the times just to make like to fill in the white noise. Like scribbles does like follow along. He probably does banter back a little bit, but he's definitely more concentrated on the island. It, on the island he's just like you can tell i mean yeah. if you can make a insight he can make an insight on scribbles if he wants <laughs> i think he will but he knows mira's not going to be saying anything to him while she's in the zone mm -hmm. so he has just been at just going just like yeah i've made some good pals on the docks and other shipping places and everything's going pretty pretty damn good at the moment i mean the Detective had me going off all over the place, left, right, center, over the waters. But I found some interesting stuff, I guess. But hey, making new friends, making new life, it's all good. It's all grand. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, I had the, the incredible forethought to put the, the map of Jotos on the wiki. So there it is. Um, Woo! Right. So, places of interest. So uh, there's the docks down there where there's a little boat on the, on the picture there. Um, that is where Scribbles landed the very first time he came to to Jotas. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. the, the north side of the island, the more narrow part up at the top there, that is a, a hill. And atop that hill, there's lots of trees and everything, but you can see the Hall of Origin sort of peeking through the trees, which I think uh, of Scribbles you've been to, but uh, no one else yep. in the party has. Uh, and then mm -hmm. on the... Oh, obviously, there's the Spire of Vitality in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the... Right hand side, there's a building that's got a, a clear fenced off yard, and that is the Mutherhood. And it was sort of just a little bit north of there, where the trees sort of overhang the coastline, where you interacted with the ferryman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember this. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's sort of where we're wanting to go on that front. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Indeed. So you're heading to, to the Mutherhood sort of area? Yep. Yep. All right, fantastic. So with a, a 20 and a 23, um, Scribbles and Morpha, you're looking out as the ship kind of glides at a sensible distance. So do not, not be suspicious. Do your suspicious dance. Um, <laughs> and 
you're able to see, just as you're coming in from one direction, coming along the coastline, you can catch a glimpse of a very small dark shape and a small purple glint of light in the the shallow waters underneath the overhang of the trees. Yeah, the ferryman. Oh, so that's what they look like. Well, they're the second target for today. Scribble's not. Scribble's not. Yeah. <sighs> Jeez, this is happening. Indeed. <laughs> oh, business as usual. Uh, you, have, you have questions that you've got, yes? Yeah, I got questions too, and just haven't done anything like this before, so <laughs> a little bit nervous. The tip is to be casual, in a sense, unless they show off different intent. It's well, all about it's all about reflections. <laughs> I'm rather good at that. Well, I'll take your word for it. And <laughs> at least from what I know of the fairy man, he didn't seem hostile, nor... I mean, he wasn't against us, at least, when we asked to go to the island. Probably damn confused, but at least not hostile. Oh, that's good. <sighs> My name is not to be caught by anyone untoward, which, um, you are going to stick out, so I would advise being stealthy. Yeah. Stealthy. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's just like, I, we, the fireman is easy. It's just if we want to say, I mean, we're here to gather as much information as we can. But I wouldn't know the first thing about the Mutherhood. I'm interested about them too and their thoughts on all this. But I'm not very Indeed. sure. I'm not very sure how we can handle that. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, and hopefully not burn it. The detective has said to keep casualties to a minimum today. <laughs> Scribbles gives it I is a eyebrow eyebrow raise. <laughs> He's never had to deal with the sketches before. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> yeah, from from the helm there is just a yeah. If you hurt anyone, well, more than you should, you're not going to get paid, well, docked pay, and you don't get the chili or the cider. So, eh, way up your costs. <laughs> you know, anyway, I'm not... We're coming in. Scribble's just nods, he's, and he's just, like, thinking, you know, it's not surprising that she also pays in chili. <laughs> she pays chili as the extra incentive. It's, these guys do get a really good rate. She has made sure they have a union. Oh my gosh, they have a union. <laughs> yep. Lynn's a good boss. Alrighty, I, I believe talk. that. <laughs> of course she is. It's just like unions and I'm just like, oh boy. <laughs> so uh, where are we making landfall? Because I understand Tarp's ship is not particularly small, but it's it's not humongous as far as I understand, but it's not... Uh, mm -hmm. It's not a dinghy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, uh, it is. It is a motor-powered sailboat, which he can silence because, holy shit, Einquell has good mechanical shit, mm -hmm. and the detective has helped him kit sit out over the years. He's delighted. Hmm. Fair, fair. Uh, even at that point, there would probably be round the back with the tree line just. Making sure there's tree cover so it isn't that easily spotted. And he has, he has absolutely, before they came out on this thing, gone, okay, you're getting a paint job. Just, if push comes to shove, this hmm. boat with this kind of paint job and that name? No, that's never been around this area before. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. But, uh... So are you kind of aiming more to the north of the Mutherhood, where the ferryman is, or more to the south of the Mutherhood? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, north where the ferryman is. Yeah. Especially in the back of Morpha's mind, she's just going, 
interesting way to me. That might actually be rather useful. Yes. It might be nothing, but what exactly is the ferryman doing coming along this way? Hmm? All right, Probably. so you're kind of coming down along the coastline south behind him then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah, say. yeah. Okay. Alrighty, let me just. He's probably make. He's probably just returning from eggs, or maybe getting more. We don't know. <laughs> he has not noticed you. It's a. I'm not very sure how they communicate between the Meatherhood and the Ferryman. If they, if they do, though, it'd be sort of boring if he his whole thing was sitting around all day. But at the same time. Alrighty. Well, some people, some people enjoy being isolated. Same time, I believe we found a connection. We'll see how it goes. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. I'm gonna get you guys now that I know exactly where you are to roll me another perception check. Alrighty. All right. I was cocked. You nope. motherfucker. Scribbles can't see shit. <laughs> that is a 21 if I am correct in my maths in my head. Beauty. Nice. All right, Scribbles, you're paying a little bit too much attention to the ferryman just desperately trying to make sure that he's not noticing you. And thankfully, he's not uh, because he got a nine. Um <laughs> <laughs> Morpho, with a 21, you, you're kind of used to surveying an entire scene a little bit more than Scribbles is. And as you're looking uh, like up the coast from where you are, you can see the ferryman uh, in his boat and you watch him sort of pull into a really dingy little tiny dock. One that's it's got nothing like the, the docks further south along the coastline it's really just just enough of a dock that it uh, sticks out of the water a little bit so that he doesn't have to step straight onto sand and um, you can watch the the ferryman pull his his little ferry up to that and moor it with a rope and then step off and uh, as you're as you're looking sort of along the coast towards the Mutherhood, you can see uh, in that yard there are quite a lot of children playing in that yard. And they're all quite quite small. Like, I mean, if you thought Rye was small, they, these are small. These are small children. They're like... These are babies. Uh, they're babies. They're anywhere between three and one foot tall like the smallest you reckon from here without getting too close to actually measure probably maybe 10 inches tall the smallest of them they're quite small some of them but they're happily playing in that yard <laughs> and um they seem to be attended by a number of adults who are no they probably would be around about the same height as Ryan Lynn. Um, and they're all pink, distinctly pink, um, wearing <laughs> pink, pink dresses and have dark pink hair um, in various different, different styles. And um, the other thing that you notice is there is another flash of pink moving away from the Mew the Hood in, amongst the trees. Towards the ferryman's dock. Oh. Well, that's intriguing. Oh. Yes? Can't you, can't you see? Oh, right. Not everyone. Look over there. Specifically. I'm just going to move your head. <laughs> and she does just. <laughs> literally. Literally. You... She, it is just the. To like hands on the temples, just adjust and just goes. I believe we're just about to have a liaison. Other interesting. This is probably it's they're probably she's I see uh she's probably unfortunately gonna probably give the ferryman some more ghost and or dark type eggs to be delivered most likely. Could be, could be, or could be. Oh. 
Earlier, you said just if it was a back and forth all the time, that wouldn't be that good for one person. And why move away from everything? And again, I guess secretive, but why during the day? Either way, Tarp, would you mind pulling us in a little closer? I think we're going to have a little meet and greet. <laughs> Gerfilf is just like, looks at her, it's just like, Oh boy. It's just like, he doesn't know exactly, it's like, he knows he needs to gather information, but at the same time, he doesn't want to alert everyone. It's just like, he's sort of, ha he's probably, he's just letting Morpha sort of take the lead right now. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, so Tarp is going to bring the boat in close to the shore so you can disembark, or what's the plan? Hmm. You know, now we have actually know that there are pink people here, I am thinking of Morpha just looking at them and going, Orange is out of style in this moment. Oh boy. Is I would gonna... like permission to roll something. <laughs> like, I'm presuming it would be performance or insight to look at these people and go, I want to replicate one of you. Oh... Boy. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why the fuck not? That sounds fun. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> me on a bicycle, Morpha. Okay. <laughs> oh? Yeah, um, that's a 19 on the dice, and oh, I my. know for a fact that her modifier for this <laughs> is. Uh, okay. So we going, we going. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's do. <laughs> You're gonna love this stat. I kid you not. You are going to love it because. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Damn! Nineteen so plus is... eleven. Good. So it is just grief. It's just her looking. And looking, and then focusing on whichever one particularly, like, particularly catches her eye, and then just going, I'm going to be back in a minute, I just have to go and check on Tarp for a moment. Goes into the helm, and then comes out, and there is now a pink Pokemoni that looks exactly like one of the ones on shore. You know, I'm sorry, but Scrabbles will, will have to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. I love it. <laughs> Let's 20 see. minutes in and yep. we still haven't got any lore out yet because you guys are just nuts. Oh no! <laughs> uh, Scribbles <laughs> has his- he, he jumps and flings open his book and there's a fire bolt in your face. <laughs> <laughs> is that a save? Is that a save or is that just a straight up hit? No, 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 no. That's Scribbles seeing how he reacts to this, but seeing someone that looks like on the shoreline suddenly come to the boat, he is being defensive. <laughs> Marvelous. Marvelous. So, yeah, there's, like, you take, like, it's right in your face, and he's just like, there's a, there's someone on this boat that no, that is not supposed to be here. <laughs> how the hell did you do that? <laughs> He did not forewarn the wizard. Nope. Right! Not everyone can do this. Do what? what? Who are you? Right! Yes, we may have... Oh, we didn't actually intend to tell you, so hey-ho. Ah, uh, hi, mirror still. Uh, and, um... Mr. Scribbles, we, we do have to be getting a move on, don't we? Uh, I'll explain it all later on, I'm sure, or our benefactor. By the way, uh, do not refer to our benefactor, my benefactor, by anything else except for, well, benefactor, unless I give the A-OK. -okay. Now, anyway, uh, we all, I look the part. You, unfortunately, don't, but hey who we'll just have to get along with that. Uh, come on, time's wasting. <laughs> Scribbles, look at that! Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, Scribbles probably looks at Corp really quickly and just says, Get the A-OK! -okay. <laughs> like, oh, please, other sketches, please confirm this is not a trap. 
Yes. <laughs> there is just Tarp. Tarp just Tarp. like leans out from the helm and he's just like braced his arm on the side and he just looks Honestly, he is just smiling at her so incredibly fondly as though this is just Tuesday, just going, have fun, don't crack skulls. Oh, I won't, I just break mines. That's my girl. Uh, Skrimmel's like, the flame goes out, his book is put back, and he's just like, okay, this happens, she can shape change. Okay, that would have been nice to know earlier. <laughs> Come on! I, I'm coming. I'm coming. As he as he get follows her. Okay. <laughs> so by the time you both disembark uh, a little ways up the coast from the ferryman's dock, um, mm -hmm. the the pink movement through the trees and whatnot um, has emerged from the trees as now standing on the dock with uh, the ferryman. And uh, just for the benefit of reference, the this this pink form she is very much could be sisters to the others who are down with the children, with the exception of she wears a purple cape. Fair enough. Uh, and, and she's adorable. She Let this be known. <laughs> she's, a, she's absolutely adorable. She's very cute. I'm very pleased with her design. Uh, and the ferryman is um, significantly a bit taller than her, but um, is is standing beside her and they seem to be having a very quiet conversation which you cannot hear from here mm. yeah gotta roll perception on that one it's as they get closer it's they have they have disembarked top has literally dropped them off and then just gone so it does just look as though how hey, that was weird but eh. that guy obviously just took a wrong turn hmm all right, 16, not bad. Also, I need to go to the restroom, too, so... <laughs> oh, no, oh, no! Blad I was going to say, of course... Worst timing. It does. But continue on, my headset is wireless. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, so we got a 16 perception from Scribbles. Was Morpha going to roll on? Uh, yes, she is. Okay, again, Morpha, with the high rolls today. You are... I, I love you. I, I love you, my treasure, my wonderful darling, my absolutely slightly feral gremlin. That is a 26. <laughs> Good grief. Yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, it, from what you can... I'll start with what you can see first. From what you can see, um, the, the pink toon is... Uh, standing quite close, like quite companionably close to the ferryman. And there's no professional distance or anything of that nature. Um, so the two are obviously quite familiar with each other. And uh, mm -hmm. she has her, her purple cape pulled up and is around something that she is holding in one arm. And um, there is also, you can see there's a, a, a basket sitting at her feet between the two of them and it kind of looks like it's full of like bread and and a few other bits and bobs that you can see that it's sort of lightly covered with a small cloth and you can hear uh, her voice um from where you are approaching and she's just going and i don't think they should need too much more now but uh, if you could leave these as well that would be very, very helpful. Hmm. Orpha is mentally making a lot of notes. Yeah, hmm. Scribbles is just watching this. And he's just like, all right. I mean, I'm not surprised that they probably be, at least some of them would be very familiar with them. I mean... And say they probably had to work with him a lot. Mm -hmm. Leaving stuff. If yeah. this is if the ferryman's always a back and forth person, this does seem to lend an idea of one of the detective's hunches. Oh. Uh, sympathies. Kindness. 
Kindness will go a long way in this day and age. Hmm. Scribbles nod that, yeah, it does, I agree. Now, getting closer. Are you going to play nice? I, I've been told to play nice. They're not hostile. No, I no, it's, it's, it's just how to play nice. There, there are many different ways of playing nice. Usually mine are um, known as quite uncanny. It's, I mean... Peopling isn't my... but I can, mim I can mirror people. I can be people. I can do things to people. Peopling isn't my usual repertoire. That's, I that's mean, cops department. Ah, I see. I mean, we'll talk about that later. I mean, I would only, I, I mean, I don't need to know what your original form is, but I paint the shape changer <laughs> would the shape changer, changer part would have been good information before we got on the ship, but this is not the time. You're not but no. you're but you're right. No. We I, we should try to keep nice as possible. I just don't want to scare them off. Mm -hmm. And this is the fun part, out of character. How the fudge do you socialize with people? Because Mira's giving me an idea and I'm looking at her going, Honey, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Um, well, I mean, it's up to you on how you would like to approach. Whether or not you just want to eavesdrop for a bit. Whether or not you want to just come for no, a good old jolly stroll down the coast and be like, Hi, we have questions. Like, you're going to have to give me something because they are not going to interact with you in any way. Mm -hmm. You know what? Screw it. Morpha is an eavesdropper first and foremost, and it's the best way of it's the best way of getting information at first by not being seen because you don't know what they'd say to you. But when mm -hmm. they think it's alone, they'll socialize. And yeah. so she does she will just like gently grab you by the arm scribbles and just lead you lead you along and just yeah. I mean hey. She's pink. She fits in. You don't, yeah. but we can probably figure out a way to excuse that. Let's let's just eavesdrop for a bit. Yeah, I agree there. The scribbles probably would definitely follow that notion, at least for right now, and see what happens. All right, roll me some stealth. You know? Hi, I love stealth. Same here. I'll, let's see how well this does. Oh, why the fuck are you rolling so high? I love it, but at the same time... <laughs> let's see. If, let's see if. Okay, seventeen. That's that's a good amount of stealth. Uh, that is plus six. Twenty-four. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, I gotta <laughs> ask who's the eight. Which one of them is the eight? And please, dear God, tell me it's the ferryman. It ain't, unfortunately. That's that's. Aww. The <laughs> so, um, you guys are sneaking closer, ready to uh, eavesdrop. And uh, Morpha, you are the essence of stealth. You have a twenty-four. Um, and maybe, maybe it's just because you're pink <laughs> right now. The, <laughs> the ferryman kind of uh, he you can see him make a motion with his his hand. Which uh, it's kind of like blended into his his big cloak looking outfit. It kind of looks like a mm -hmm. fin at the end somehow. Um, but he he makes a motion with his hand, and the the smaller tune stops talking at that motion, and he's looking around. And Scribbles, you can see you know, he doesn't have a big round eye like most other Pokemoni that you've met. He has this mm -hmm. this thin, slitted, squinty kind of eye. Um, but he still turns and surveys the landscape and then locks eyes with you. He has Brock eyes. He has Scribbles, Brock eyes. you've been yes. ditched. <laughs> Scribbles, you've been ditched. <laughs> Scribbles and is probably I say, does he do anything? Well, he, he'll just look at you for a moment and then very smoothly, very gently, just moves the the smaller tune behind him so that he is standing fully between you and her. Yeah, Scribbles just sighs in like very 
and say, he puts his hands up, like, he's trying not to seem like a threat. He's like, I'm not here to say, I am not here for any ill will. I was going to wait until you two had your conversation done, but I'm sorry for interrupting. Hmm. We've met before. Scribble's not. Yes. I... Yes, we have met before. Full of secrets, I see. Have uh, you some way of... <laughs> some way of making your way across the ocean unhindered? Well, I am a very powerful wizard. <laughs> he tries to make a joke. He's probably sweating a little bit. Uh... The, the ferryman's expression doesn't change, but you get this vibe that uh, he is making an arched eyebrow expression at you, even though his expression has not changed in the slightest. <laughs> Scribbles just waves in. Sorry, trying to make a joke. Uh, yeah. I, again, I wanted to talk to you about some stuff, but I didn't want to interrupt the obvious conversation you had with, um... He looks at the pink tune. Um, who may you be? She kind of leans around the ferryman a little bit at being addressed. I, I, I... My name is Mia. Mia, it's nice to meet you. Uh, again, apologies for the intrusion. But I wanted to ask the fairy meant something, but I, yeah, I say, did mean to conversate. I mean, I technically have maybe a few questions about the music hood too, but I don't. You uh, he, he stand there's a little bit awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> and what exactly is it that's brought you to my docks for a second time? Mr. Wizard. Uh. Well. I think we both know that. I know some stuff that I probably shouldn't. And that wants to keep buried. However, I. There are also other stuff that I still don't know. Stuff that ha has happened in the past. And to try to make a better future, to try to help, I feel like I wanted to try to uncover at least some things that happened. There is a, a, a small, small noise from Mia. You mean you, you took him across? But he's not a Pokemon. He, he could... And the ferryman just sort of reaches his hand back down and gently pets Mia's head. He has managed to make his way off the island. There is more at work here than we know. And she kind of makes a small whimpering noise and huddles into his side. He nods at this. There is, and if Pat and as well, if from say, I'll be willing to try to give a little bit of information for you too, if it makes you feel comfortable. However, we're also trying to keep this secret. Also, try try to help in any way we can, and sometimes. The best way of doing so is by, well, by not saying, well, ugh, sorry. I, this is, this is, say, I'm still getting used to stuff like this. It's just, I say, I'm willing to say, if you're willing to keep secrets, I'm willing to keep secrets. And he just like rubs the back of his hand, neck with his hand. Hey, hey, Scribbles. Yeah. 
There is another factor about Morpha she's forgotten to say, but she's going to do it anyway. <laughs> oh my god, Morpha. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's not the people person. She's the espionage person, but just... Scribbles, in the back of your head, there is just going to be... Do you think it might be message? You, you know what message is. It's just. Mm. Is it some. Some. Then there is just the voice in the back of your head going. A good statement that might be one to say is, those in times of hardship. Well. They share bread, don't they? The others less mm -hmm. fortunate. Those. They are trying to help. I'm curious, is this telepathy? Because Scribbles knows telepathy through scratch. Yeah, Maybe... it is. It is telepathy. Yeah, but Scribbles does give a little smile and ba and repeats what is a Morpha said to them. Mia very uh, pointedly looks down at the basket on the ground that has bread and stuff in it and then frowns a little bit at Scribbles. The ferryman, uh, on the other hand, does not take his eyes off, scribbles, and just adjusts his shoulders a little bit. Very nice words. Perhaps you best simply state your purpose, rather than using over-enthusiastic terminology. Scribbles gives a little nod. My purpose is to ask you some questions, if you will allow me to. Questions are good and encouraged. Answers may be hard to come by. I understand this, but I'm also... This is for the purpose to help. I... Help who? Who, I mean... who do you stand with? Well, I don't stand with Ark, I'll tell you that for sure. Mir is frowning even more. <sighs> Scribbles sighs. I stand by the ghosts and the dark types. I know the situation with them isn't good. But I would eventually want to try it help them eventually hopefully so they don't well they're not have to be on the island and well yeah you are welcome to roll an insight on me if you like mm -hmm. i can, will can morpha as well seeing oh, yes. as she's nearby yep I would also like to say that Morpha is keeping an eye out on the local area because, hey, saying, well, I'm certainly not with Ark. Hopefully we're not in earshot of anyone else. Mm -hmm. That's go, a 17. <laughs> uh, insight. Da, 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 da. I'm not always, I'm not overly familiar. Of course you fucking are. Of course this was one of your things. Of course this is one of the things I gave you friggin' expertise in, you... I love it when I give a character expertise because then no matter what they roll well. Hmm. Splendid. Um, okay, so with the seventeen, um, Scribbles, you can see that Mia Mia is still frowning at what you have said, but there is a different kind of vibe to her. She's holding herself a little bit closer to the ferryman, and um, her free hand is clutching at his robes a little bit tighter. She isn't suspicious necessarily. There's something else. Um, she's more. She's she's upset, I suppose. Twenty four, Morpha, my dear. Um, mm -hmm. So Mia is is trying her best to stay on guard, but saying Scribble's saying that he stands with the ghost and dark types. Her whole vibe her body language she's sad she 
has listened to Scribble say that he wants to help those two types and you can tell that she would love nothing more than to have that same thing. Uh, and she she is uh, holding whatever it is that is still under her purple cape um, a little mm-hmm. bit tighter. But you get the, the immediate vibe that she wishes with every fibre of her being that they didn't have to live on Cantos as well. I Scribbles, there is there is gonna be the voice in the back of your head again, just make sure to inform them you aren't the only one involved with this. There are multiple people. There were multiple people who went with you to that island. Mm-hmm. And we all got off, or you all got off. Mm-hmm. There are more people on the mainland, more people in Einquell who know now. Yeah, she was like, and I'm not the only one. The ferryman can attest to that. We we have saw what has happened, and they, we have all gotten off. They say there's more people in Inkwell who know and want to help if if, if we can. I mean, we will help. It's just, we also say, we also need more information if we are able to do so properly. Hmm. And the princess was not able to give you information herself? And there's this little squeak from Mia, and and she leans back and is looking up at the ferryman. Celeste was on your ferry? Hmm. Yes, along with this one, and some others. You have put every single Pokemon on that island at risk, haven't you? Perhaps. Perhaps. Gibble's not. Scribble's nod, yes. Celeste was with me, and she could tell us as much as she could, but... There's other bits that are that she doesn't know, which is why at least I am here to try to get that information. Because well, I we can't we probably shouldn't risk a giant group again coming back here. Probably wouldn't be the smartest play. Mia kind of uh, is only seems to be half listening to, to Scribbles at this point. She sort of thunks her head into the ferryman's side in as, as much of a, uh, a face palm as she can do while still holding on to whatever she's holding on to. And she's just, oh, you're incorrigible. If he finds out, if she says anything to him, all of those people are... She won't. She won't. You, I'll, I can pinky promise you that she would not tell anyone she wants to only help she is a sweet girl I know that she cares a lot but still if her father finds out Hence why, well, viewer, I say, if I can get information, we don't come as a giant group. It is scary. It's frightening. It's terrifying. I can only imagine what you're probably going through and your mind is thinking about. You're scared for a lot of people and... I don't blame you at the slightest. (sighs) But nothing is going to change unless we make changes ourselves. I am willing, I am willing to put my life at risk to help these people. And so are many others on the mainland. And yeah, I know information is power. Your, say, unbecon is 
not is say relies on stories and knowledge and they're definitely not being like no one is being told the whole truth about this and no one's <laughs> that I... is the sadness of it isn't it it is stories hold so much power and yet are fragile the moment they stop being told they become a legend become a memory become gone a mystery a shame really scribbles nods again indeed it's quite the shame it has been a long while since things have changed Ask your questions, wizard, and we'll see what answers you get. I am very well, intrigued. And there's sort well, of a, a, a exasperated, whiny groan from Mia, but she does not say anything. <laughs> That's her. <clears throat> well, maybe we start from the beginning. That's where all good stories start. What was life back on Cinnabar, if you know about it? And, well, why were dark types and ghost types possibly but with people thought of them with disdain? It has been a long time since I've thought of Cinnabar Island. The life and death we had there. Mia looks distinctly uncomfortable. There are a few on this island who still recall it. But your question does not have a simple answer. I mean, I'll take any answer. Hmm. The ghost and dark types were looked on with disdain due to... And uh, he sort of glances down at, at Mia, and Mia is looking straight up at him with a don't you freaking dare kind of expression. <laughs> hmm. Like many stories, it starts at the end with death. And that death was the catalyst. Too much, much more death. And loss. And the ghost and dark types were the... The target of grief. Put to blame for it all. Perhaps not entirely without cause. But it's not my place to hold judgment. So what did they think... What did... Say, did people think it started all with? What was started? It was a war. I have heard that. Well, you've, you've been to Lavender Town. You've been speaking to Yon, haven't you? I... Yes, I have. Though... Afraid... But he was similarly... Afraid and... Afraid of us also when we first came along. I don't know all the details about the war or how it started. Of course he was afraid. Of course he was. He was put under such incredible strain just trying to protect his people. To keep the ghost and dark types safe, that's all he wanted. I suppose he got it in the end, but... <sighs> he is a fine man. Is he... well? He is doing well. All of them are. On the island. That's good. Yon Everyone was one of the few of us who survived. 
and was one of the first to be shipped over to that island. He took the whole thing quite well, actually. Didn't try to make waves. Others were more problematic than he. Well, I can't say I blame him. Being torn away from possibly families and friends sounds god-awful. Leon and the other survivors didn't find any friends here. They were all too hurt over what happened on Cinnabar. Yes. With the island being sunk, am I correct? Quite an impressive feat of geology, I must say. I have served the ocean for quite some time, and I have never seen it swallow an island whole. The waves and the weather riled up in such a way that I have never seen before nor seen since. Quite a sight. It's amazing more ships didn't sink than what did. Yeah, it's definitely an extremely powerful feat, for sure. But what did, what was the thing that sparked the war? I still haven't gotten a clear answer on that. Does Morpha want to interject? <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you humming slightly. <laughs> Scruffle, yeah, Morpha is wondering. She's almost wondering whether she wants to come out, but at the same time, surprise, there's another person here is probably not going to be well received. She'll do, no. it, later. She'll do it later on, especially as she's got an idea of what exactly is, you know, underneath that underneath that cape. But just she will just, in, in Scribble's ear, just go... If you think loud enough, I'll hear you, but what are you thinking about name-dropping Helios? Scribbles is, qui say, is quiet and uh, say, is quiet and he is used to be spoken in the head before, uh, say, I, uh, say, before because of teleportation, he's like, I am not sure myself, he thinks. I want to start dropping it, but I sort of want to see the answer to this question before, say, before anything. It's going to be related to the council. We need more information on how that broke down. I don't believe our benefactor has talked to you about this, but I believe this is related to Dark Rage. If we can try and find more information about that, I'd be interested. Indeed, I agree. Ask about the council more. Hmm. Wasn't they say? Did they say anything before he goes on first? He doesn't want to interrupt. Um. Given as I forgot what they were talking about while I was listening to the two of you talk, uh, let's say no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the scribble <laughs> carries on. There, it's like there was a council at one point, wasn't there? They say. Why say I wasn't say what happened with that? Hmm. What happened with that? There were hmm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine oh, There may be Getting forgetful in my old age. <laughs> but a group of all very interesting and powerful figures, I must say. And it all came to pieces. <laughs> but Certainly they kept me busy, that's for sure. I mean, usually governments want to try to help the people. If, what, say, well, usually, but I'm just curious because 
why couldn't the council settle settle this out before I came to the brink of war? Oh, because what? people are stubborn and cruel, that's why. Unfortunately, that is very much true. Governments may try to work with the benefit of the people in mind, but people are definitely not necessarily always of that persuasion. <sighs> and all it takes is one person, just the one, to ruin everything. Scribbles nod. I'm assuming you mean Helios. Mia bristles visibly. Uh, the ferryman does not. Um, and she sort of gives a, you know, that kind of yowl, growl sort of noise the cats make? She kind of yeah. makes that sort of really lowly. Helios Tahara. Oh, the man who started everything. Yes. He was on the council as the ghost-type representative. The ghost-type representative. What about the dark? What did they think mm. of Helios? Mara? Oh, she didn't really... trust him, I suppose. Not... Not when he started talking about getting the dark and ghost types more power. They were... We were equal back in those days. No one above anyone else. And then Helios got it in his head that he deserved more. <clears throat> and he wouldn't let Mahara say no. Was she afraid of him? I don't think so. I wasn't there when it happened. I was elsewhere. I wasn't on the council, so I had no business being in the council chambers, but I don't think she was afraid of him. He nods. That's fair enough. No, I didn't know. There are people who were, though. Mm. He brought yeah. many people to me. By choice or by accident, who knows. And what was your duty then, back then? Hmm, I go by the name of the ferryman these days, but then... I had a very different role. We had no need for a ferry. No path between the land of the living... In the land of the ghosts and the darkness. But I <laughs> do get a lot more sun. Open fresh air. It's not all bad. Mia kind of just gives a little bit of a, an eye roll and a nudge into his side. But he doesn't say anything more. Okay, out of character. I'm trying to think, say, think of that. What that means? My brain is blanking. <laughs> I'm okay. saying I'm. One of the things that Morpha is going to say in your head is just, "Oh, a fine keeper of graves." Possibly. Don't feel okay. bad, Nona. He is deliberately being a shit. So, like, fair enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying here and now, Morpha likes him. Yeah. <laughs> Scribble, scribble gives a little nod. So, in other words, you were a gravekeeper? Not an incorrect statement. You know of Unbekant, yes, Mr. Wizard? You've seen yes. his symbols? I know of him, and... Yeah, I could definitely... Yeah. Yeah, I have to say, I know of him, and say, I mean, <laughs> I mean, only met him twice. I mean, Cel with, Cel with Celeste being a cleric of him and everything, and I say, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Scribbles, like, Scribbles, like, tell 
to have telepathy goes with Morpheus, like, I'm pretty sure I probably shouldn't name, probably shouldn't say I actually met the guy, but we'll see what no, happens. No. no, I wouldn't advise it. That's not something that usually goes over well, but you're being very subtle. Very, very good job. A star for effort. The pheromone sort of leans forward a little bit. When properly written, the markings of Umberkant are black and white. And there are those of us who take portions of light and darkness, life and death, to be the stories we focus on in his name. Kind of like, well, pen and paper, <laughs> in a way. In a way. There are many who dedicate themselves to different stories under Unbekant's library. I uh -huh. tend the stories of the dead and Mia the stories of the living. Of course, because you work with the Mutherhood. Yes. It is part of my role to serve Unbekant and to serve the life that is required for his stories. And it is something that I have done since I was quite young. Scribbles nod to this, and you do. And I bet you do an amazing work at it, and... <sighs> Certainly made a bit harder these days, but... I try. Yeah, which brings me to probably the most uncomfortable subject for you. Why? Why, if there's so much disdain between F, the dark and ghost types, why doesn't. Why didn't Ark, after all this, well, made you get rid of the eggs? Permanently. He is not a stupid man. He knows that all of us at the Mutherhood would never lay harm to an egg or a child. And maybe some part of his compassion still lives. I'd like to think that. I... Scribbles just shakes his head. Not from what I've heard. Maybe in some relevant part, he is a smart... If he is a smart man, he's definitely... He's done right to keep it quiet, at least. He is not a weakling. He would be able to hold his own for some time, but if every Pokemon on this island rose against him, he would fall. He knows that. If he were ordering the deaths of children, children that some people have tried for years to have, he would find himself at the mercy of the Keeper of the Dead before too long. That would sure be an interesting day. We've put mm. the rest of the council to rest, except two. Two? Scribbles mm -hmm. does look very curious, that. Uh, two. Technically speaking. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. And who are those two? <laughs> ah, Calamos. And Helios ah. Tahara. Ah, I see. I thought maybe there were others. I see. Uh, so well, it's just those two. Just those two. Technically speaking, Helios was unemployed with the fall of Cinnabar, but I think he still counts. Mm. Yeah. Technically... Maybe, but I say I. 
I was just curious. I was also sort of afraid of that. Hmm. To know what actually happened on the council would be most the most valuable information since, well, they were the only ones who saw its fall. But unfortunately, it's one bastard or another. <laughs> Neither mm. of them would be particularly talkative. No, not at all. Not at all. I'm pretty sure he would, or at least would try to kill me, most likely. Perhaps, perhaps. Then again. He is in his old age, too. Better part of a century since it all happened, and life behind a desk is a little less uh, conducive to exercise. Uh, you're not wrong there. Still, I but... wouldn't risk it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I wasn't. I would never. I wouldn't risk it. Much as I serve death. I don't wish it upon anyone. It is better yeah. for it to come when it is due, rather than go seeking it out. Yeah. I try not to seek death either, but sometimes to protect family, friends, or to protect future, say, well, protection and or... The freedom of others. I would put my life on the line for that. That's very noble of you. If only I could take you at face value. I mean, we did just meet, so... Yeah, I don't blame you for not trusting me. Do you have any other queries, Mr. Wizard? Hmm. I'm Scribbles? Still... Yes. Scribbles? Scribbles say, says yes in his head. There's been a thought from the detective that I want... conveyed. It's in relation to how... Those that manifest later are found. We are aware of a contact who was vanished when they manifested into being a dark type later in life. We're interested in understanding how they are found. How Ark finds them. Scribbles. This is Scribbles. This is yes. Good idea. There is um, actually another... Sorry, you oh, continue yeah. on, be wild. <laughs> it's quite literally, she. I'm pretty sure these two can roll insight on Scribble, seeing as Morpha will just interject into Scribble's head. Just okay. So let me let me it, roll the, some insight. Also, do please mention about the amulets. We have some interest in those. What? <laughs> Oops. Okay, good. I mean, Ferriman got a nat one, so that's not great, but me are coming in. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think a 21 is, is probably enough to, to twig that uh, Scribbles is being fed stuff by a telepath. <laughs> yep. Um, Mia is going to frown and then uh, look around and I'm going to have her... Roll a perception. <laughs> uh, a 19 may not be enough no. to see Morpha. <laughs> it's... I think it's enough to get a vibe, because I kid you not, even if, like, I, if I roll low, low, maybe. But it's enough to tell someone is likely there. You would possibly have to directly say, I know you're there, or the jig is up, or something on that front. All right. She's definitely gonna. Because oh, she's yeah. looking around, and she's frowned at Scribbles, and then looks around and frowns at him again. There's someone else here, isn't there? 
Scribble looks at her and gives a little nod. I'm not an idiot to go to come alone, but I'm also not an idiot to bring a whole group. Hmm. Someone with a lot of stealth. I can't see them, but I can tell. You've got some sort of magic link. Yes. You might as well come out. <laughs> All right. Although it was rather fun while it lasted. I mean, no harm, and before I do come out, I will say that no one has been harmed. No, actually, I do like this form. And. Scribble's just like. Scribble's like face palms, like, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> God, can someone roll me a D three, please? All right. I'll roll. All right. <laughs> three. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, she's been eyeing your um, She's been eyeing up a third form today, and she can't help herself. Apparently. Shit. Oh boy. She walking in looking like the fucking ferryman. Uh <laughs> She's not the people and she has poor impulse control when it comes to forms. I meant it. <laughs> Good grief. Good grief. All right. Um, mm, 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 what would your score be on this? Uh, probably. Actually, you know what? It's going to be that. Oh, and you roll like shit. That's fine. Uh, okay. The ferryman is going to just sort of look Mira up and down as they come out, looking like fucking him. Yeah, Scribbles is he head in the hand. He, he is just so embarrassed right now. It's just like, please, any other form. Please. We're, I mean, we're trying to make a, at least a decent up impression. I'm not even going to say a good impression. I'm just going to say decent. Hmm. Putting our skill sets on show. And I will say, while I'm talking in this accent, she is talking in his voice. I just don't want to do that to myself again. No, that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> hmm. What an interesting form. I'm rather fond of it. It suits you rather well. I find it does. I'm fond of it too. Ugh, I'm sorry. Hmm. A disguise of some variety, magical, surely. You might call it that. And you might also call me Mira. What a to meet you. Ah. Is a 15 enough for him to twig Changeling? Um, I think one thing that would, he would think Changeling, but also really weird Changeling mm -hmm. in that looking at her, she does look like a toon. I mean, on inspection, it's you're not sure whether it's clay or ink or that sort of stuff. Uh, it, yeah, it does radiate some sort of changeling. It has got, especially as you can't sense a direct magic link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just sort of shift his shoulders a little and move his his staff with the lantern on the end so that uh, it is not like in between anyone. Well, well, being acquaintances with some variety of changeling, that's quite uh, interesting. And Mia <laughs> kind of just sort of squeaks a bit. Oh, goodness. I mean no harm. And don't apologize. I'm pleased with my skills. And no, again. You're we mean no harm. I mean no harm. But showing this skill set, 
shows that we can get certain places. It's my benefactor, our benefactor, is interested in all this. Ah, and they have sent you in their stead. Very well done. Technically for me, I volunteered myself. Well, I'm sure there are more inquiries. By all means, go on. Scribbles looks at say, Mira and does give a little nod, giving her the floor since she does have questions. Our benefactor had several points that she wanted addressed. One of the main ones is, well, we assumed there was a deal or something struck in finding Kantos. So eggs that show the traits from markings, they're easy to create. What about the ones that manifest later? How do they get selected to be taken away? It's efficient, isn't it? Ah. Uh. You're talking about the boy Rion. Indeed. Tell me more. <laughs> well, he's not the first that we have taken over as a adult slash well, non egg individual anyway. Occasionally I take others like that across. But to change type that's not common. Unfortunately mm. for the child, Ark spotted him during the day. Shortly oh. after. And that was all it took. I do not venture into town particularly often, but I was sent to fetch. And for the time being, I must bark as an obedient dog. But there are moments where well, the dog doesn't always obey the master. And if something, if something happens at one point or another, a few eggs slip through the net, in a sense. Hmm? There have been times where I have tried to change the course. There was a particular, mm -hmm. particular pair. I knew of their parentage. And I let the parent to claim what was theirs. You actually let Ralph take his children, didn't you? Oh, oh. We are going to get in so much trouble. Well, for all the good it did, you know as well as I that I had to take the two across later. <sighs> yes, I know. <laughs> Can't yeah. imagine why. <laughs> you can only do this job for so long before you seek some sort of change. Mm -hmm. I hope that someone might shift the balance of power. Indeed. Thus far, <laughs> all but seven that have boarded my ferry have made it there. Though, as eggs, that is to say. Hmm. That's yeah. rather fascinating. Mm. Indeed. Mia is we... kind of uh, patting his side, like she's trying to stay exasperated, but there is genuine sympathy and affection in, in the way that she's she's 
kind of trying to console him a little bit. His expression has not changed in the slightest, <laughs> and you are not getting any reads from him whatsoever. I mean, mm -hmm. fair. Mm hmm. Our benefactor sends her condolences for everything that has happened. We are also interested in a topic that might be upsetting. Oh? What kind of co topic could that be? What kind of topic could be more upsetting than having to take children away from their parents like this every other day? It's exhausting. It's oh. heartbreaking. What could possibly be worse? Second war. Her eye goes very round and then she is staring at Mira. What? I am not going to show any hands now because we are working to stop things before they rise, but... Well, there are things that work in the shadows that are not kind. Scribbles nods at this. What more can you tell us about Helios? We understand there is a... Link between them and ring-based magic, yes? Do either of you know any more on this? The King of Rings. That was the title he liked for himself. He was it not someone I really met. Personally, he wasn't interested in the services of the Mutherhood. But... He was... Very powerful. He had a talent for making his own spells. He I would not put it past him to come up with his own kind of magic if given the chance. Scribbles nodded this heavily. <laughs> Helios I feel like perhaps I might have been one of the last to see him alive, in a manner of speaking. In a manner of speaking. Oh, yes. I'm not sure if what Ark did to him counts as death. It didn't quite feel like it. What did he do? <laughs> one on one between Ark Alamos and Helios Tahara. I think Ark assumed that the victor would not be himself. <clears throat> the governor, as he calls himself now, lay a trap. And when he sprung that trap, it did not kill Helios. Simply imprisoned him. Gibbles nods at this. I see. If you are searching for him, I would be careful. Mm. I'm guessing the trap was sprung back on Cinnabar, but mm. yet it is sunken. The very stonework of the Hall of Origin now serves as Helios's prison. I might have had some small hand in setting it up. The governor was 
Not at full strength at the time. Mm -hmm. Probably from the war, but I'm curious to hear more. Mm -hmm. I was not witness to the battle. Only the results. <laughs> and I'm going to get you guys to roll me a persuasion. Okay. It's a straight D20 for scribbles. <laughs> Oh, 17. Nice. Da, 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 da. 21. Nice. nice. There is this, uh, this pause as the ferryman takes you in. Uh, and you can see me sort of lean into his side a little bit more. Are you really going to tell them that? Hmm. I feel that if they truly want to break this cycle, this routine, it may be... Maybe to our benefit to them to know. Perhaps. And he kind of looks at Mira and Scribbles. It's like, come on, give me a good reason to tell you this info. So you've got your roles, now give me your words. I, our own understanding, with everything related to your god, knowledge is to be shared, power is in words. It is a help and a harm, but seeing as our enemies have enough words to cause harm, we need to tip the scales, know all aspects, help. Mm. Yeah. I have to agree with you. Breaking a cycle is not the easiest thing to do, but one word at a time, just gaining. <sighs> we have written many words in the people that are on that we come that we come from many words to help but we can only do so much with the information we have we want to break the cycle too and even though this meeting didn't well we didn't know what we were going to get into at this meeting but I'm glad we've met you, at least, And we are more than happy with information that we got, but... Again, like we said before, he'll say we know nothing about Helios, and... If we're gonna finally put this to rest, we need to know more. Put memory back in the present. <laughs> that is a sentiment I can definitely get behind. As I said before, it all started. Well, didn't start. But the beginning of the end of everything was a death. The death of one of the members of the council. One very important member. The light type representative. Oh. I do remember that day where we lost Cinnabar. Fighting had been breaking out across the island. And then Someone came into my domain. A very sad, angry, broken man. 
carrying the lifeless form of Diane Alamos in his arms. Scribble's eyes widen. Of course. That makes sense. That Celeste told me before that he never wanted to take up another one. Another mate, girlfriend, wife. That, that makes sense. I had met Ark Alamos a few times before then. He was a different man. But something in him died with Diane. We put her to rest in as, as traditional a way as we could, given the chaos on the streets. And then Ark took everything he had left with some help. And instead of killing Helios, which he couldn't seem to bring himself to do, he sealed him body and mind and spirit into the Hall of Origin itself, into the very stonework, into Cinnabar over all. And that, I assume, is where he stays, trapped within the walls that once was a proud temple, a library, where nothing much more exists except dust and sea. Indeed. And yet the story doesn't end there. Not anymore. No. Yeah. People say island sank, people move here, and then, well, the story continues to live on. You said that our couldn't bring himself to kill him, but yet we don't know what happened to make the island sink. Are we sure that he didn't do it himself out of grief? That is something I am sure of. I mm. helped him set his trap. And I saw his every movement from the moment it was laid the moment we left. Mm. It was not Ark's doing. Something else was at play. Rage. Indeed. No, it couldn't have been rage. Helios was a ghost type, not a dark type. Mm. Has there ever been a case of dual type? Not that I know of, not in my lifetime. Changing types mm. is very rare, but to have more than one. I mean, you said yourself that he Helios became a part of the island. And if there are cases of Pokemon changing types, he, whether he changed fully into a dark type or he became dual typing it would explain the island possibly sinking from his rage one does not need to be a dark type to be full of rage <laughs> Helios Tahara was never hinged he was he sought power and fought for it set a war for it if if I had to guess, if it were, if I was a complete lunatic wanting power and I had been bested, I would be putting every last bit of my energy into fighting back. So perhaps that's it. 
but I don't know. I don't... I don't want to know anything more about that man. We are... We're happy. And we lost all of it because of him. And... Are you really happy? No. We lost our home. We lost so many people. And now I have to... She pulls back her her cape and there is a dark grey and black egg in her arms under her cape. I would love nothing more than to be handing this to their parents. I don't want to put it on the ferry, but I don't have a choice. Scribbles just looks so sad that this, this egg. Egg that, like she said, has parents that they would love them. But it's just like, it just really hurts him. He even just, he even just instinctively grabs his, the necklace, the moon necklace on his chest. Which is the reason why we're trying to stop all this. I don't... You won't have any luck. You won't be able to convince Ark of any other course of action. And until the day that he dies, we won't have anything else to do. I fear that we will never see that day. Well... Well, hope is hard to come by when you're enshrouded in all of this, but there is hope. There is an end. That's one of the certainties in life. There will always be an end to something. Very true words. Mm. And we want to make sure this story, at least has a happy ending, or at least as much as we can. So much damage has been done. I cannot ignore what has happened. But we can at least try to make this a better ending. You have lost generations. You have had your history overwritten and parts of it erased. Your children taken. And while they flourish elsewhere, they are trapped. However, people are learning of this. And those that learn do not support Ark. With time, with work, with... Well, as our benefactor has taught me, every little chip can slowly break something. And arcs hold all of this. Will shatter. Scribbles nods at this. May we both live to see that day. This is not what we want for our stories. But our hands are tied. And we understand that. There may be been compassion enough in that man to keep this arrangement, but after all these years, I wouldn't want to risk it having eroded if we refuse he may take matters into his own hands. So you play along. What else can we do? We... We are not affected by the barrier that Ark put up around the island. Though I don't... I don't like going inside it. It, 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 it doesn't feel right. But we were able to get Jan what he needed to get started. And they've mm -hmm. they've done some great work on that island last time I saw, which was how long ago? A 
About 30 years. Thank you. Scribbles does give a small smile that is like, it has really grown. And it's become, well, beautiful. I still send supplies over every now and then. I know he probably doesn't need it, but sometimes it's nice to get a small treat and different fruits and bread and chocolates and things that they might not be able to grow and make for themselves. They're so isolated. It's the least I can do. Indeed. <laughs> if anything, this well, conversation might have been better had there. Well, I was at least, if you be willing, you take me back over the there. I actually want to learn more from Jan. He gave me, say, he gave me a nice book when last we met. However. I'm not the best at crafting, and I would like to learn more. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are scarce few who board my ferry more than once. Mm. But you would not be unwelcome. Thank you. You do have one of the ways of getting off again, yes? Oh yes, I do. And he, I say, and he gives a and he gives a little smile at her. Good. Our benefactor will be upset if I lost you. Oh yeah, many people would be upset if they lost me. I really do not want to be stuck there. I be, I I I've come prepared, and he and. Well, I say, even probably with a passive perception, he is really like like. Like feeling over the necklace on his, on is a on him. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to upset my future wife by being stranded on a desert island. No, thank you. Yeah, exactly. He has the escape rope. He has got it covered. <laughs> <sighs> mm. <sighs> you should take this little one over. If they hatch on your boat, it will be a problem. Yes, of course. that happened with you too many times. Of course, I'd be honored to take take them over for you in your stead. I wish I didn't have to send them away. Wish you didn't either. As a parent myself, I I couldn't imagine the pain. What? What happens here? I'm sorry that this is probably distressing, but what do you tell the parents? I know all the eggs are together, but... The... The eggs don't... They don't appear in any convenient manner. Most of the time the parents aren't even there when they happen. <sighs> And so, we don't tell them anything. It simply hasn't happened yet. Ralph, he was different. He knew. Mm -hmm. Oh, I shouldn't have let him stay. So he saw them when they appeared? He didn't see them, but he knew that they were... He knew they'd appeared. I'd already taken them to the ferry. But he could tell. He could tell something was wrong. He was always a very insightful man. He wanted children so badly. And he got them. In the end. After a fashion. 
didn't he? Well, you're the one who let him take them, so yes, he did. I... This isn't probably my place of asking, but I am curious. Is Celeste? Well, damn! I forget what the wife's name. Sorry, Diane. Um, Diane. Thank you. Say, did Ark and Diane have Celeste beforehand somehow? No. No, Celeste was born here. We don't mm. stay as eggs for very long. And... Ark... He came to me. Specifically to me, not to any of the others. To try and have his child. I didn't ask him why he wanted children. He seemed so disinterested. But it's my duty to say yes and to facilitate that sort of thing, so. I see. And I can only guess that you're, you did it twice. She winces at that. Scribble's not, that's what I thought. He takes in a deep breath and releases it. I want you to know I, that he is in a much better place now. He has a mother who loves him, siblings that adore him, a family that, that tries to help him any way he can. He is living a good life now. He is being, having every advantage you want and he's living the best life that he is a he's really grown and I know that it's your job to let go once the eggs are hatched but I just feel like as a parent that I need to tell you this that he's he is having a good, happy ending. She uh, presses her face into the ferryman's side and you can tell, even though she's trying to hide it, she is crying. Some of it is grief, some of it is guilt, but some of it is relief. He yeah, it's good. In all his parts, he is loved. And thriving. That is a relief to hear. The only dark type I've not taken across. Sounds like I may never have to. Yeah. If yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll never have to. You'll have to our Ark would have to wade through an army to get him. Splendid. That... That brings me rather a lot of joy. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. He's ground powerful, too. I've actually tutored him in magic, and he's just Pecking amazing. <laughs> he's got an eclectic skill set. He has, but of course he's had a wide range of teachers, including myself. Mm -hmm. Not to pat yourself on the back <laughs> or anything, Scribbles. Yes, it's quite... No, the... no, Scribbles yes, is... Whis, Whis, I tell you this, that was the exact line Morphle was just about to say. <laughs> no, yeah, Scribbles, yeah. With... 
He, he's still a little, he's still a little bit, a little bit self-absorbed, still a little bit. <laughs> I know for a fact our benefactor has put you in a hole. Multiple times. <laughs> Indeed. It's, hmm. don't, don't get full of yourself. You're standing on a perch right now. You can go back in another hole. I'll climb out of it. <laughs> My hubris is amazing. Well, You'll fit right in. I'm glad to end this conversation on some good news. Unless you had any other quick questions for us before I must depart. Mm. I should like to not have another newborn on my ferry. Mm. Mm. You do tend to scream a lot. And get smelly. I don't get why they get smelly. Yeah. Scribble's just pat Morpha on the shoulder. <laughs> Babies. Um, let's see. Uh, one moment. And she does just go, like, dead silent for this moment, just looking off into the distance. Is she phoning a friend? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> Phone a friend. Hello, yes. Yes, that's been covered. Yes. That's also been covered. Not a good time. That's also been... Mm. We could bring that name up. We could bring that name up. Possibly not. Mm. I'm just gonna quietly roll another arcana. <laughs> that's a 16. What's that sixteen for? Uh, just, just to Arcana see what if the ferryman can look at more for like. Okay, what the <laughs> hell are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> Scribbles is pretty high in Arcana. He he probably knows what she's doing. She's like, oh, I see you know that. Interesting. Moving on. <laughs> I guess the last thing is directly to you. Just does the name Nick ring any bells? Oh, that one. It does. Mm. Well, I've said it is the rare few to be on my ferry more than once. He's one. The first mm -hmm. time... Well, he was one of the ones where we had dawdled setting off, and he hatched upon the deck. I was very surprised to see him, what was it, a year ago, much taller, just as noisy. We had to knock him out, unfortunately. Mm. Mm. And he was sporting new, um, new Ex decor on an ankle. <laughs> new accessories, yes. Yes. Roll me an insight. I will roll that insight. Mm hmm <laughs> And get again. Really nice modifier to this. <laughs> Man, you've been rolling hot tonight. Yes. Part of it is a really damn good modifier. Jesus. I mean, yeah, that's a plus eleven, indeed. Yeah. You scribble's gonna roll one? Oh yeah, I say he'll roll an insight. Let's see. What's your inside again, buddy? Oh, yeah. Okay, 15. 15. Pretty That's good. Not bad. Okay, so the no, thing not that becomes all. immediately apparent is this is like, there is actually a shift. He has, uh, his mask has slipped a bit, and you can get a little bit of his emotional state through that. Uh, Morpha, 26! <laughs> um, oh yeah, the, the, the accessory. Oh, he knows exactly what that is. He has made a point of not saying what that is. And he doesn't really want to. Especially seeing as Mia is now looking at him a little bit confused. She has looked up from where she was sobbing into his side, confusedly. And he's like, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> 
shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Berryman, you hear a voice inside your head. Cool. I understand some things aren't fun to say aloud. Would this work better? You truly are full of surprises. <sighs> if I say nothing at this point, she will ask me questions later. And having to say it more than once, I don't like to entertain the notion of. I My apologies for putting you on the spot. <laughs> he then uh, says out loud, You mean the ring around his ankle? Indeed. I mean, it sort of stiffens. A ring. A gold ring. He works for Helios? That was my assumption. He was unconscious, so I couldn't question him, but it was unmistakable. And you took him to Lavender Town? What choice did I have? He's a dark type. What else could I have done with him? But if he works for he... Surely Ark knew. Did Ark see him? I don't know. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, what is he possibly doing over there? He's being locked up currently, from what I know of. Oh, they can't be a cunt. Yeah, they put him... Yeah, they had him... Within a wall. A very high wall. That's up how my daughter was able to climb up of. I still don't know how she did it. But, yeah, they, they don't like him. They don't like him at all, to reassure you. Thank goodness. But to be bearing a ring... I thought you said Helios was imprisoned. Well, he was. <sighs> I would assume is. But if he's not... That's not good news. Scribbles does give a side, a side eye to... Is say Morpha. Pretty much yes. asking permission. <laughs> it she's looking back and she does pause for a moment and then she nods just it Scribbles might be better. Scribbles nods. You aren't wrong. But you're also not right. He found a loophole, per se. The life lock is weakening. In a way. Don't know how he contacted one at the beginning. However, his spell crafting is beyond what I can... Well, I've seen. He was able to temporarily have another body. And we are all in danger. Mm. I've seen his work myself. He's able to put his mind, his spirit into another body. However, it's not permanent. There's ways of breaking the spell. His way, when I saw it, was easily just tearing a piece of paper. But I, but from what I've seen of the of the spell, that it just made him return to his original confined state. Our main concern at the moment through my benefactor is those who bear the anklet. Do you have any idea what that means or what it could do and well, possibly a way of removing it would be 
Interesting, but seeing as you haven't, I presume it's... Oh, so. That's the kind of role I like. Thank you, <laughs> Ferryman. That is ah, 30. I love his arcana. Um, nice. You can see him sort of, like, he's... He can't do prayer hands because he has one hand on Mia's back and the other is holding onto his staff. But he's giving the prayer hands vibe and he's just... Heliostahara called himself the King of Rings and looked the part. Mm -hmm. He wore many gold rings upon his person, around his arms, his legs... His hair, I think. And he used to have an entourage who would wear them as well. And he was able, as far as I know, to provide them with protection. He was no weakling, but could not be everywhere at once. If he mm. is active... He will be able to feed those people power. Whether or not they come off like regular jewellery, I don't know. I've not tried. But it was very common to, when casting magic of significance, that you wanted to see last your lifetime to use a life lock mm. and that it's not something unique to Helios Arc Alamos has done them as well mm. life lock I have not heard of the term before it's a fairly straightforward concept your life's essence is a battery and so ah. long as your heart but beats the spell sustains it That's is what rough. keeps helios imprisoned and the dark and ghost times as well. Of course. I see. But oh. if Nick Vol is imprisoned on Lavender Town by its inhabitants, perhaps what Helios can provide is interrupted as long as Nick is on that island. Inside that barrier. Mm hmm. I oh, see. Otherwise, he would have we... escaped. I would assume so that it cut off. I mean, it's a barrier especially made for them, though. I. I. I mean, yeah. It's cutting off a pact. You know, that's a good way of putting it. Cutting off a pact. I've seen it done before. I... Mm. I... Skrulls just raises a finger, but then lowers it. He's just like, never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's information on that front. Right. It's unlikely that we're going to be able to have another correspondence like this, although I do know your faces now, so mm. could. But is there anything else you think is relevant? But it's tricky to share information and well. And there are moments like this, it's good to share all that's on your mind. Is there anything else? Anything you maybe want to ask us? We asked a lot of you. It's natural that it is a, it'd be fair to do the same. 
What do you get out of this? Out of helping the ghost and dark types? This is what our benefactor does. They help the forgotten. The erased, the damaged, those that others don't look for. I do this because she helped me. And, well, I can see the benefit in connections and in freedom. I, I do appreciate freedom. Scribble is not that. Yeah. Freedom is important. But also is justice. And this has also, this has been a mis- Judgment, just misjustice. Yeah, words, words are hard. <laughs> it, it has been a misjustice, yes, and a, genocide and a cruelty. And when cruelty is known, we do not like to let it stand. Exactly. I do not have any questions for you, but mm. I do have a caution. For you and your benefactor. Mm. If Helios Tahara is active in the world, it means Ark Alamos is weakening. And should the two fight, I suspect. Just when they met 53 years ago, the victor, if left blow for blow, would not be Ark Alamos. And much as he has made Mia and I take children from their families, and exile a whole two types of our kind. This is still the lesser of two evils. Mm. And with that mm. remark, he turns and uh, sort of slinks back onto his ferry and the, the small wooden boat just sort of groans as it dips into the water a little. Just, I see. I guess that's our cue. Scribbles does go over to, to her and need to say, I don't know how tall is she. I forget. What was the picture? Mia. Oh, she's, Mia. She's the same height as as Lynn and Rise. She's three foot something. Fair enough. She's, she is so small, and we love her. She is. It's Scribbles just go and say, he goes over to her and looks down and smile. But you do have friends on the mainland. I didn't get to share my name before, but my name is Scribble Scrambles. And he does reach out a hand to shake if she wants. She'll uh, reach out her free hand and just sort of place it on Scribbles rather than taking it in a handshake hold. If you're getting involved in this, please be careful. I don't want to I lose will. another life to this. Not again. Scribble's not. I know. And I want... And it's better to stay alive so I can help more people than die like some martyr. Well said. Are you getting on the ferry today? Yes. Uh, scribbles then as a puts his hand hands out to take the egg. Mia um, takes this this dark colored egg uh, in both hands and uh, she gives its shell a, a very soft little kiss before handing it over and then hugging herself. 
Um, and uh, the the ferryman kind of hooks the basket that was sitting on the ground with his the the lantern end of his his staff and puts it on the on the deck while waiting for Scribbles to get on. Scribbles. Say, uh... Sorry. Morpha would like to sleight of hand something into the basket. All right, go for it. It's just do 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 do. Sleight of hand is only one of your minor things. Hey, that's a sixteen. But do it's she it does just rather interesting seeing as it's you know not her normal form. Mm -hmm. But she does dip in and just very casually just almost as though she's helping hook the basket. Mm -hmm. She slips the Requiem's business card into it. This seems a good idea that John will know that there's been talk. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Scribbles, before getting on the boat, does, like, with one arm, like she was doing, like, hold the egg, but then out re outstretches another arm in gestures of a hug if she if Mia wants it. Mia uh, looks at him and then shakes his head and then gives a little nod to the egg in his arms, which does a little sort of uh, little shake. You don't oh, have yeah. Time. Oh, right. <laughs> Scribbles just oh. holds on back to the egg. He's like, well, if you ever need of me, I'm a paper plane away. You also have friends at UPA University. And he gets on the boat. UPA University? Yeah, you'll find that the headmistress is someone you know. She looks confused, <laughs> but she also doesn't have time to question it because the egg is like in the beginnings of hatching. Yeah, Scribble just hangs on to the egg as he as he's on the boat. <laughs> Give Yon my regards. I will. And off the ferry goes once again. Across the sticks. And the ferryman puts his staff in the water and pushes off from the coast and it drifts off into the sea. Oh wait, before he goes, Scribbles does send a quick message to Mia. He's like, wait, do you know if this child had a name? Did the parents choose on a name? No. Not yet. Oh. They didn't okay. know when it was going to arrive. I was just curious. If they if they had a name in mind, I would tell Yon it. Thank you for the sentiment. You're welcome. That's all we've got now. Yeah. Take care. Be safe. And you too. And that's what Scribbles had left. <laughs> yep. Morpha got anything left? Was she standing on the shore with uh, with this Mew? Let's just think, hey, would you mind rolling me perception? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can do that. Thirteen. Yeah, uh, nope. <laughs> it is like that it is like there was a ghost. It's yeah, you, you know there were two people there. And as you're watching this boat, there's no one next to you anymore. Hmm. That actually unnerves her a little less than Morpha might expect it to. Because <laughs> she hangs out with the ferryman. Um, yeah. She's just going to sigh, give one last look to the ferryman where he and Scribbles are just like vanishing into the horizon. And then turn and head back towards the Mutherhood. And that's all I've got for you. Yeah! <laughs> I like playing the ferryman. He's such a dick. <laughs> he is. He's I love wonderful. him. He's wonderful. Mira likes him. Mira wants to keep this form. She's going to petition with the detective later that she can keep this one as one of hers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I hope I get to play him again. That would be fun. I have something in mm -hmm. mind. Tee -hee, tee oh boy. Um, oh, you. But I hope you have enjoyed this little burst of lore. 
I, 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 I can't wait to hear your conclusions based on it all. Um, but for now, should we say goodbye to our lovely audience? Mm-hmm. Indeed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.